my snoot just got... We're alive! <laughs> this is not for you. <laughs> she knows better. She knows that anything shaped like her sister is not for her. <laughs> <laughs> Ichi is watching you with a rapt attention. He's so soft. I don't know what kind of stuffing he has, but but this Loki doll is so soft. Um, hello and welcome to this evening's <clears throat> second stream, where I just play with this stuffed animal. We're um, trying experimental formats. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we're playing for many. Yeah, welcome back, everybody. Um, if you're joining us again. So this is a game for ages 5 and up, and it's a card game. It's like a tile placement card drafting animal collecting game, and it's from uh, Loki Games, which is a subsidiary of Yellow Games. Uh, it's their kids' line, and this is their mascot. It's a corgi with a crown on and a cape. And I love it so much. It's about as it's so on brand for Tiffany. It's almost like wrapping around the other side. Um, they yeah. their logo oh. is what? I don't know if you can see it on the tag. What? It says ages zero and up. <laughs> yeah. Um. So their logo is like teal. It's my favorite color, teal. And they had like huge banners. With, like, a corgi face on them and tablecloths with the corgi face. And then they have, like, the corgi ears. And so I wore the corgi ears. They're on the horse. I don't want to get them right now because they're dusty. They'll set my eyes off. Um, of course the horse is. Even the horse in our house is wearing corgi ears. Yeah. So, and then they had these stuffed doors. So on day... Oh, God. What day was it? It was day, it was day one. One, I think. During the, like, morning rush. I saw these in a display, and I was like, I texted Steve a picture, and I was like, this is priority one now. <laughs> like, this doll. They won't sell me one yet, but this doll. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, anyway. It sorry. took a while to set up. I just kept cruising by their booth. <laughs> I ended up being the one to buy it. But we're going to play for a mini. It's super quick. It's like 15 minutes. It's going to be one of our fastest streams. So, um, you going to dispense something? I'm gonna dispense my dog outside. Uh, I bonked the camera. Bonked cameras. Okay, so this is a really easy, adorable, cute game for kids. And they have three games that released at the show under their new line. And each of you need to go outside. And um, this is the one I ended up getting. I did a little bit. He bonked the camera. Um, I did a little bit of research. Because I didn't know these were coming out. So I did a little bit of research really quickly. And this is the one that I decided we would probably like the most. So this is the one I got. Um, Just a Loki. Loki! Sure, it's the best we're going to do. Um, but it's really straightforward. So there's these little animal tiles. And then there's cards. And you use the box as an animal pen for the animals. It's the farmyard and you put the animals in it so you can pass it around. It's the best. Um, so then each player has a, um, there's these, there's four starting farmyards and they're all the same. Um, it doesn't matter who gets which one. So each player is just going to have a starting farmyard. The other ones we don't need so we're going to put them to the side. Then there is, um, there are these four starting cards. They have borders around the back. The girls are barking at something outside. Um, and so you're going to take them and you're going to, it doesn't really, they don't need to be shuffled, but you're going to put them as the first, like, options, because there's going to be, like, a market of cards, and these are the first that people can pick. Okay. Um, and then... The rest of the cards, you're going to shuffle up and make a deck. Um, and as these cards are picked, you'll replace uh, into the into the market from the deck. But there are two, three types of cards. So there's farm cards, and the farm cards just have grass and fences on them. And if you um, take a farm card, you add it to your farm. And when you add it to your farm, uh, it needs to be placed such that the fences make sense. But you can still make gaps. So if I'm going to 
build a really quick farm. I could do something like, you don't have to place like the cards lined up perfectly. Um, so, I'm trying to like make an example. So you could place something, um, I don't think you can do that, but you could do that. Just want to double check. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. No, you can't do that. But you could have card blanks. That's what it is. So you could have a hole in the middle of your farm where you just don't fill something in. So I could I could have this right at the end of the game. So I could have a card missing. That's fine as long as you place adjacent to what you've already placed. Um, in addition to fences, the farm cards have little crops. That's corn. Every corn that you have in a field, so fenced in a pasture at the end of the game is worth a point, as long as there's no animal in there with it. The animals, there's little, like, circles, and they have little troughs on them. That's where you can put your animals, and each one of those spots can house an animal token. And the way that you get animals is you select an animal card from the market, and you'll gain the number of animal tokens as is the number of animals on the card, because some cards have, like, two two, pick a, two chickens or two pigs or two goats or something like that. So that is that part. Then the third type of card, oh, sorry. At the end of the game, you'll gain one point for every farm, farm animal you have in on your farm. Um, but if your farm animal is in with crops, he eats the crops and you don't get any points for those crops. So there's that. Um, but every animal you have on your farm, they have to be on a spot, and you just get one point for them at the end of the game. Whoever has most points wins. But during the game, there's a third type of card. There's little wolves! They're hungry, and they want a specific type of animal. So when a wolf card is revealed in this market, the game pauses, and anyone who has the animal depicted outside of a fenced area loses those animals. They get, they get put back here. The wolf chases them away. Um, so there's that. So you want to be mindful and try and put your animals only in, like, pinned in fully enclosed areas. Otherwise, the wolf will scare them off. So that's it. That's the whole game. Uh, we play until, uh, the deck is empty and there are no more available cards. So we're going to play all the cards. Which doesn't actually take super long because there's wolf cards and animal cards and stuff like that. So, there we go. There we go, that's the game. Hey! It's a cat emoji. Similo. Um, you ready, Paris? I am. Is your dog still out there? No, I'm You just stretching still? Okay, whoever last saw a tractor gets to go first. Oh my goodness. I feel like, didn't you see a tractor on the highway the other day? When I was driving? Didn't you just paint one in Wasteland Express? Uh, I mean, it's an excavator, uh, but I'll allow it. Oh, I love this new rug. <laughs> chair doesn't catch every time. It's the simple things in life. It. Um. Okay. Hey, this is a kids' game. I am excited. All right, so I'm gonna start, I guess, because I painted the bulldozer. <laughs> it's a type of tractor. I'm going to take. Ooh, I'm going to take this corn tile and put it uh, here, and then this replaces. Oh, a chicken wolf! So, uh, oh, the glare, the glare. Kyra, mm, should we? Can you veil a glare? I think we're getting a glare right now. I'm getting a corgi glare. Oh, she didn't get a treat for coming back inside. That may or may not be what she wants. She'll accept it. Uh, so nobody has any chickens out, so this card is just out of the game. And then we refill. Hey, look, there's a chicken! All 
Alright, Carrie. She didn't get a treat for coming in because she was went out and immediately was barking to be let in. She didn't even go potty, she was just barking because she wanted to let her in so she could get a treat. This is why we don't negotiate with the terrorists. What do you want now? You should take a turn. So there's an advanced rule where you can make animals worth two points. Um, where in the advanced Is she rule, on camera? she's not. I don't think she was. Big bad wolf. I'm just like she's she's cute and annoying. Um, for a bigger challenge. In this variant, uh oh. Also, at the end of the game, tie is broken by whoever has the most picks. Um, so you want corn, but you don't want animals in the corn. Correct, because we'll eat the corn. At the end of the game, uh, in the variant, if you have a pen that has just one type of animal, they score double points. So oh, does she want? Easy. What do you want? Do you, you want, want this? Is you can't it? have this. I don't think that's it. No. Do you want? It? Do you want this little ducky? Where are you? Easy over here. Is this what you want? You want the ducky? Okay. She took the ducky. We're good now. <laughs> That's the, right. ha the happy corgi truck. Oh, and it's immediately lost. She just shoved it out of her. She took it and ran over to the entertainment union and just shoved, like, threw it under it. So she can't get it. So she needs us to go get it for her. <laughs> so now she's like, hey, hey get my duck. <laughs> oh, God. Don't, oh, man. Don't, don't act so indignant. Hey, hey, hey we no. know what you did. No, you're done. I'm going to take this one. Uh, and then... Oh, there's double chickens! I'm gonna solve this crisis. <laughs> uh, if I take a chicken, I get one chicken, right? Oh! Wow! Down. You get one chicken, yeah. You know who else wants a chicken? There's one in the back alley rotting! Hey. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, Jaime says that's how you play fetch when you have arthritis. <laughs> Each has arthritis. Uh, yeah, she um, she is making us do the fetching. That's that's true. Yeah. It's a cool. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna take this chicken. Yeah. But I'm gonna take oh a corner piece. I'm gonna take this corner piece. Alright, this is very good. Um I'm gonna place that there. It's a pig! Can you have more than one <laughs> type of animal in each fence? Oh my god, that's an amazing emoji. Yeah. Oh that's great. Can you have more than one animal type in each pen? Yes. In the base game, yes. <gasps> There's two piggies on this card! Do you get two pigs? or You get still... two pigs! <gasps> it's so well, cute. I'm doing that. Okay. So I get two pig tokens? You get two pig tokens. Wow. Feeling a little piggy there? Yeah, the, the wolf pig is going to come up, I'm sure. The pig wolf. The pig wolf. Pig wolf. Um, and it's... It's the goat wolf! <gasps> He's going to eat the goats. Does he scare away the ones that are in the market? No, that's the advanced game. Ah. In the advanced game, the wolf will even scare away these ones. My turn. Yes. Mm. Rotting chicken games. <laughs> Did Steve tell you about the rotting chicken carcass? I don't think I told people about the rotting chicken carcass. I told our, our new house sitters about the rotting chicken carcass. 
Um, how would I just have just a chicken there? That seems like a bad idea. Doesn't Trader Joe's sell that? Rotting chicken carcass? No, just just a chicken. Yes, it's a thing called just chicken, and it's cooked chicken breast cut up. Um. Uh. The wolf only eats animals that aren't surrounded by a fence. Yes, um, and only the type that he wants at that moment. Please, uh, ooh, I'll take another chicken corner. Mm -hmm. Chicken, chicken corner. Ooh. You also, if you have empty parts in your farm, you will lose a point for those at the end of the game. Like if you have the card slot missing. What do you mean missing? Piggies! <gasps> no! He eats two piggies. No. He goes, no, 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 he just scares them back to the pasture. Sure. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yep, they just go to the farm. Oh wow, he had it out for your pigs. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna take a goat because it's cute. I did that last bit. Yes, and then when I was refilling from you mm -hmm. taking it, uh, we had some wolves show up. So anyway, Steve, we have alleys. We live in Portland, and in Portland, there's alleys behind your houses. Um, and so Steve sometimes walks, you know, down the alleys. Just because... to see if there's a couch behind our house. Yeah, because that's happened. Um, but it's free like a little nature, couch. it's like a nature walk in town. It's also, you know, nice sometimes. Um, but apparently there was a trash bag. Yeah, just protected my chicken. Um, hang on, hang on. Okay, now you can take it. Um, he was... Um, he was walking down, and there was a trash bag, and it had burst open, and there was just an entire uncooked, raw, like, store-bought chicken in the thing, uh, in the trash bag that was, like, just out in the thing rotting. Um, so yeah. And we're always like, how are there, there's always chicken bones in our neighborhood, it makes no sense, and we've discovered partially where they could be coming from. That's a lot of chicken bones. And then I found out also this winter that squirrels will run around with chicken bones and try to bury them all in the neighborhood. So we found a they source. Don't and even we... eat them. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the the one where you feed your pigs and they get bigger is happy pigs. We love happy pigs. We have happy, all the special pigs, bonus animals. Happy pigs is so good. Well, that's a surprise. <gasps> Two oh, goats! <laughs> show the picture! Show the picture! We're uh, doing goat yoga. Okay, I'll just take more for more corn. That's fine. I'm having a lot of options here. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take another chicken. Ooh. Hmm. I'm taking another chicken. Do you get points for corn if it's only if it's fenced in? Nope. You do not. You get points for corn regardless. But if it's fenced in, it's you, and you put an animal with it, you the animal eats it. Oh no, sorry. Cornfields earn you points if they are protected. You will earn a point per protected cornfield. I was wrong. So you don't get points for cornfield anywhere. So you only score points for things, or sorry, you get points for animals regardless of where they are, but the wolf might scare them off. You get points for corn if it's in an enclosed pen and there's no animals in there with it. When all oh, fences, man. all fences need to connect, right? Yeah, you can't place illegally. I think yeah. I'm in trouble then. Wait, the pig. Oh my gosh, I've like expanded my farm out the reaches of the camera. 
We might have to go. Boop. In a bigger, bigger play area. Oh, the little piggy! I'm gonna take a pigger. Pigger, pigger, pigger. And put the pigger there. Oh, I did it! I have a fenced area. <gasps> Just Whoa. in time! Because he's about to eat your goats. Alright, I have all fenced up. Let's Um. Do not pass goat, do not collect $200. Goat, goat, goat. I'm gonna fence on this farm. Um. Uh, yeah, I'll fence on this farm. Um, I'm gonna get. I have no more animal spots, I just realized. I'm gonna get another goat. I'm gonna get another goat. It's just if he liked the water, I'd build him a boat. I'm gonna get another goat. What about a moat? For the goat? Yeah. If he doesn't want the boat, why not give him a boat? A boat. Will he float? Maybe if they're bloated. Maybe if they mm. bloat. Will he need a coat? Really my chin. That's what's wrote. <laughs> oh! Oh, he's eating chickens! Um, goat with the float on his boat to vote. Um, he eats chickens, but we don't have any, we don't have any chicken. Um. My turn? No. I was refilling for you. Mm. I was refilling for you. I'm gonna yeah. do that. <gasps> Double chickens! Yeah, you need animals. I need animals like nobody's business. Did you know it's nobody's business how many animals I need? I need a lot of animals. Apparently. So here's a question. Is this fence? I know it's not. If you if you connect yeah, here, it would be. I know. But you would lose two points for having that. It's your turn. Oh, he eats pigs! Oh, I just fenced that. Phew. Oh, the goat will float on his boat to vote. That's it. That makes more sense. Um, yeah, this game, I was like, you know what? If nothing else, we'll play it with our nieces and nephews. But it's actually pretty, it's pretty simple. It's nice. It's, it's, it's enjoyable. It's not a bad game. Kairos. Um, is, is what I said to Steve. Okay. Um... I Oh, he's the chickens. Rolling them chickens. Um okay, I'm gonna take this pig and put it there. Uh, and then I'm gonna take the chicken. Yeah, so that's fine. Um I can get this to get another point because I'll have Why are there two extra pigs? Oh they got scared. They got eaten. <laughs> they ran away earlier. Oh yay! Mediocre played Splendor for the first time and really Ooh. enjoyed it. Um, you get this card. I get this card for life. This card for life. Okay, so those are our farms, and so then we just get points. Um, so you get one point for every corn in a oh. fenced-in pasture wow. that there is no animal eating it, and then you get one point for every animal token. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six animal tokens, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fenced-in corn. So I have 13 points. Oh, you did fence it in. I think you win by, by a point, because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 fenced in corn, and then 7 animals, and then you lose two, I points. Lose two points. Yep. You do. 14 to 13. Well played, farm master. Farm master Wait. of farm minute. 14 to 13. Sorry, 12 to 13. I was like, I have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, hey, your best score last time was 12. You're just holding steady. <laughs> I improved. I got two more points. And that's for many. I would just like to point out 
These it's... are some happy animals on the cover. Look how happy that pig is. Oh, wait. What? Tiffany has corn. I do. I have one corn right there. I lose a point. <gasps> We're tied. Okay, so the tiebreaker. You caught me. You caught me cheating. The tiebreaker is whoever has the most of a certain animal. And you know what that animal is? It's pigs. Whoever has the most pigs. And if there's a tie on that, it's whoever has the most goats. And if there's a tie on that, it's whoever has the most chickens. And then if there's still a tie, they don't say what to do. But, so I have two pigs. And Steve has one. So I won the tiebreaker. Yeah, because it's only the one corn that's being oh, eaten yeah, by the have, pig. You have six months to the corn. Yeah. Well done. Thank you for the catch there. That was very good catch. Very good catch. Yes. But it's important that I stole one. Very stolen. Um. There we go. I do not know much about electric scooters. No. Um. I know one of my coworkers has one of those electric hoverboards. And he zips around the office on it. At reasonable, not ever too fast speeds. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jaime, um, so Splendor is the reason they haven't gotten any of the recent dropping games like Azul. It's tough to beat how simple it is. Which is true. Um, yeah. We don't play Splendor because uh, it's an engine building game. So we just, look, there's certain games that Steve can't play, and there's certain games I can't play. Um, um, so Tiff because is, we would destroy it. Tiff is pretty amazing at Splendor. Yeah, I just built it. Um, okay, so that's for Minnie! Um, and it's mini and it's cute, and it's easy. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's, uh, it's a good representation of a kid's game that isn't so brainless. Your ears will leak out. Or um, your brains will leak out your ears, which yeah, a lot of kids' games can be. Especially for a game that's five and up, because sometimes there are games that are for that age bracket, which are... Yeah. Yeah. Like, we could play this with our nieces, we could play this, I th maybe not with both our nephews, but definitely with our older nephew. Um, yeah. And it wouldn't be so boring that he would lose interest in it. This is one where I feel like our nieces would be able to play this together happily, um, once we taught them. Like, they could do independent play. Um, it teaches them counting and taking turns and kind of, like, planning and risk mitigation with the wolves. But um, not like in a crazy harsh way because the game is kind of a lower scoring scoring point game anyway. And there's a little bit of that press your luck. Oh no, when the yeah. wolf comes out for sure. So I'm having too much fun spinning the pasture. Apparently, uh, so this is a good, like, cute, easy little one. Um, I don't know when it'll be coming to the states. If it'll be coming to the states. I assume the Loki brand will be launching here. They did have um, all the languages in the rulebook, um, but they didn't have the U.S. flag on the back. So sometimes that means, like when they do English, they do the British flag mm -hmm. um, slash the U.S. flag if they're doing like a U.S. release at the same time. So who knows? Um, yellow U.S. is like a different branch or something than, um, than the other one. So... Um, it's, um, it's cute, it's adorable. There's two other games that they launched at the, like, release of the Loki line. Um, they seemed okay, but this is the one that was, like, more our jam, that had, like, less, um, had a little bit more strategy, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, Jaime's saying he taught his nephew King Domino at five. He won the first game. Yeah, we, we love King Domino for that reason. It's yeah. really good for a lot of ages. Um, so yeah, that's Farm Mini. And it's super cute. And we like it. And that was a super fast stream because it's a kid's game. But don't hold it against it. That was fun. It's still cute. It does not overstay its welcome. It does not. Um, and it would be like a really good easy clipper game. Just because it's a kid game doesn't mean you have to play it with just games. So. Fun to me. There we go. Um, okay. Mm, goodbye, Loki. Focus on Loki, camera. There oh. we go. Uh, so, because we're not completely dead yet, and we have so many titles to stream, 
we're gonna place another game about placing things in a grid. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna play Small Islands, <laughs> which is another tile placement game. Um, so this is from Mushroom Games. We're gonna play this one next. So we're gonna shut down the stream, update the titles and stuff, and then we'll restart the stream and we'll be back. Um, so there's that. Triple stream header. I'm really tired, but we're gonna do it. This one's like really straightforward and simple and we both enjoyed it. It's like Akrotiri Light, uh, for two to four players. Actually, there is a solo, so it's one to four players. Um, which is another thing. There's a solo game on Mini- for Mini. So you can play the solo if you want, or your kids can play solo. So, um, we'll be back. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we go live sometimes. Um, and if you're watching on Twitch, go ahead and follow us if you'd like to be notified when we go live there. If you're watching this in the future, thank you for hanging out this long with us and I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching live and you want to watch the Small Islands video, just hang out and hopefully YouTube will work and you can just hang out in the room and when we come back, you'll be, you'll be with us again. So, yeah. But the next stream is um, Small Islands from Mushroom Games, which is a Taiwanese publisher. I'm not, I can't yeah. remember off the top of my head if they're Taiwanese. Um, well, the writing is in Chinese. So well, but it's all multilingual. They've got it. no, I know, oh, but this yeah. is their like oh, company customs info, and it's in Chinese. So, probably so Taiwanese? I think it's Taiwanese. It might be um, it might be Chinese, but I think it's Chinese. Um, how long do you expect small islands to take? It's midnight here, so if it's over thirty minutes, I'm probably gonna call it a night. It says thirty on the box, but it's, that's gonna be with. Yeah, it's thirty minutes to play it. Um, but when you add in the teacher, it'll probably be a forty-five minute stream. So there's that. But it is more tiling. <laughs> But it's not tile laying on a board, <laughs> so I might have a small advantage. Um, so we're going to do that. Uh, if you need to go to bed, that's totally understandable, Amy, and I hope you have a good night. But if you hang out, that's cool, too. Uh, you're welcome to do whatever works for you. So, all right. We're going to shut down this stream, and we'll be back. Um, good night, Amy. You're going to catch your break. Okay. Night! Um... Okay, now that Steve's strapped fold the tiles inside, we'll stop the stream, update titles, and we'll be back. See you soon. Which you were switching? I don't know. Yeah.